what, though. You might as well enjoy the moment. Make it last just a little longer. And he gets it to go. At the end of the year, the Magic saw leaps from Oladipo and from Alfred Payton. Yeah, I like those two young guys, Kevin, but it's hard to compete in the NBA without a top 20 score. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. And they double up Rondo. Sacramento moving it around. But Trey. And it's Caspi with the three. Caspi's got five points so far. Harris is green on run. And the rejection by Cousins. And here is our 2K leaderboard. These teams have been on fire over the course of the past 10 games. The Magic in second. It's due to better shot selection lately, Kevin. They're taking their time to make sure the shots they take go in. Really good self-discipline there. The Amway Center here in Orlando didn't see a lot of wins last season. Magic really struggled at times. Surprisingly, Greg in this building. Yeah, a young team still haven't yet established their identity. Only 13 wins at home. And really that inability to defend that home court is why they fell out of the playoff hunt early. Game with it. Picked up by Harris. Caspi dishes to Rondo. Rondo is doubled. Here's Cousins. There's the killer two-handed slam. Boy, he threw out some punishment with that two-hand throwdown. And Clark, now's the time to do it. Continue to attack that rim. You know, what's a bit alarming for the Magic at home is that it was a step back from the previous season. I mean, for a team that's supposed to be young and improving, they shouldn't be getting worse at home year to year. Kings leading now by seven. Gay outside. Back to Rondo. To the left side wing. Six on the shot clock. That's tipped. And now Orlando on the break. Here's Peyton. Soft touch off the glass. Peyton's got six points. That's a terrific sequence at both ends of the floor. They block the shot and recover it for the fast break finish. And a big problem for the Magic at home was that they just didn't protect the rim. I mean, they would end with the second worst home field goal percentage against. And Vucevic kicks to Fournier out to the wing. And the best to Rondo. Back to Cousins. Gay drives it. Oh! oh that athlete. Yeah. And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game right now. Clark, there is a swagger out here on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. That's right. I tell you what, I used to love to go up and jam like that. Boy, this game is off to a flying start. Yeah, we're seeing some high-octane offense from both sides in this one. That's leadership. Really, really. No shortage of scoring here at the end of the first quarter. It's Sacramento. They're up by six. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment. Now the second quarter getting ready to start up. And a moment here to take a look at some of the hustle stats for Sacramento. Well, in the first half of play, they're closing out aggressively, blocking shots. A key indicator of their activity on the defensive side. The other thing that's helped them early tonight are the points they've been able to convert off turnover. On the court for the Kings as the second quarter gets underway. We've got Rudy Gay, DeMarcus Cousins out there with Caspi. And there's Collison. And it's Curry in a, the point guard position. The Kings were off to a hot start last year, but things certainly fell apart midway. A big factor in that was the messy firing of their coach, Mike Malone. Yeah, really, that firing came out of nowhere to the fans and the players. And 
seemed odd to fire a coach that has been leading his team to good basketball. From past the arc, and the basket by Collison. Collison's got the lead up to nine now for the Kings. Nicholson kicks to Napier. To the middle. Here's Smith. Land soft on the front of the rim and drops. Smith's got his first two points of the night. Love the assist. I mean, he knew exactly where that bounce pass had to be to create that opportunity. Over to the left wing. And out of bounds is the Magic will gain possession. The Magic trail by seven. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. And it's out of bounds to the Magic as Orlando will retain possession. Looking at the Kings, oh. month let's see how they stacked up in the league statistically second and fast break point third and assist and they're in the top 10 getting into the passing lanes and coming up with steals and you mentioned their ability to score in transition this is a team that loves to get out and run and one of the things I like they move the ball up court with the pass as much or more than anybody in the league and former coach of the year, George Carl, making his way back into the league last season. Kings picked him up halfway through the year to kind of stabilize their coaching situation. Okay, that's good. And after his last game, really not surprised to see him as hot as he is here tonight. Napier passes to Smith. Here's Azania. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. And what a pickup to get a guy like Carl Gregg on their bench, as you mentioned. He's just been a winner of Clark his entire career. Well, he's climbing the ladder in the all-time wins category as a coach, and also in the, he's a cancer survivor. He's overcome a battle with cancer, and that also lends itself to having great compassion and respect for George Clark. As did his son, Kobe. That's Remember right. That? Yeah. That's right. It was a family affair. And Orlando making a change here. Oladipo's checked in. And the Kings also making a change. Ellen Ellis checked in. And stolen by Cousins. Gay with it. Now defended by Oladipo. No good from Cousins. Oladipo outside. Gordon outside. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Gordon. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out east already. We are in December. We'll take a look at the Cavaliers. And of course, Orlando, three and a half back. So Orlando going with an almost entirely new group here. Channing Fries checked in for Jason Smith. Harris comes in for Nicholson. Fournier is checked in for Aaron Gordon. And it's Alfred Payton in for Shabazz Napier. Kufus checked in Victor for the Kings. Oladipo. The Magic getting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Well, the Magic knew that last season would be one, Greg, for development. A young team like they had needs to grow before they can really compete. And, and you touched upon it, Kevin. They, they really were a young team uh, last season. Third youngest team in the league by the end of the year. How about an average age of just over 24 years old? That's his first personal foul. A drive by Collison. Curry dishes to Casper. Back to Curry. It's hauled in by Fry. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Back to Peyton. One twenty-nine left from the first half of basketball. And Oladipo, here we go. Four on the clock. To the inside. Curry kicks to Bellinelli. The feed now to Casper. He dishes it to Collison. There's a good screen. Inside. Kufus. Caspi with the bucket. 
Caspi's got the lead up to nine now for the Kings. Almost an impossible shot to block in the post. The defender can't give up that much of a height advantage and expect to contest it. Vucevic checked in for Orlando. Orlando's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. And Oladipo kicks the fry. Rebound by Caspi. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. Oladipo against Curry. Bellinelli for three. Can't get it to go. The Magic go the other way with it. Coming off that loss against the Nets. It's Curry with the drive. He gives them a double-digit lead. And now it's a 12-point Kings lead. And that's another assist for a team that is putting on a clinic on how to share the ball. And I love the mentality that they've had. If a shot isn't there, they're not forcing it. They're moving it side to side until they finally get the one they want. And, and nobody, guys, among the defenders stepping up to challenge him on that drive to the 10. And Greg, he says, thank you very much, and sails in for the flush. And those are the kind of sequences that tell you why. And so that brings the first half to a close. Kings lead by 12. Stay with us, folks. We'll get back just after halftime to start the third quarter. back to the NBA here on 2K Sports and we're ready to get going once more the players have a chance to have a short break and get some rest themselves and get refueled and hydrated with some Gatorade more terrific basketball in store for us tonight Rudy Gay having a definite impact in this game and the thing I noticed most in that first half was his offense he was not wasteful with his opportunities and also did a great job of converting with the chances he had. I agree with you, Greg. Judicious shot selection. All of his looks were good looks. Well, we're getting back to the action now. It's been a one-team show so far. We'll see if that changes here in the third. Rudy Gay having a dominant impact in this game. I, I know we've said this many times before, but what a great first half. Just an offensive juggernaut. And, you know, in the end, I wouldn't be surprised if we're talking about what a great second half he had, guys. I mean, he can usually keep it going for all four quarters. Peyton and Oladipo, the explosive backcourt pair. Harris at the four, Vucevic in the middle. And it's Fournier in the three slot. That's who's out there for Orlando. Pass to Gay. Up top, Cousins. Feeds to McLemore. There's the screen. Got a piece of it. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle on a lot of contact there. Sacramento didn't have a free-flowing offense, and they wanted to get up and down. And it showed in their play transitioning from stagnant to free-flowing. Sacramento, a team that is likely to put it on the floor to attack. We saw that last year. They have no problem creating with player movement versus ball movement, which is something which uh, is a nice way to kind of begin the transition. It is. And, Kevin, they were dead last in the league in terms of catch-and-shoot field goal attempts. Also near the bottom in catch-and-shoot field goal percentage. So they might have been justified in that. Here's Cousins. Nice work on the boards. Paying off with the basket. Cousins has got four points now in the quarter. That's something they need to do more of. Get after it on the glass. Go get those boards. Clark, it wouldn't hurt. Some extra possessions would definitely help narrow the gap and maybe swing the momentum. And we have an intentional foul there, GA. Uh, wish I could say why. <laughs> that one's pretty strange. I mean, 